Hello, and welcome to part four of my video series on modeling the Thunder Basin Railroad. In part three, we talked about the options for operating your layout and the choices I'm making for the Thunder Basin Railroad. We left part three talking about CTI electronics and the CTC panels. In this video, we will be talking about the programming of the CTC panel using their TCL programming language. So let's take a closer look at the CTC panel, its use, and the simple programming behind it. Here you see the train brain software at the start. I can load the Thunder Basin Railroad file, which has my complete system. The movement around the software is Windows based and very easy to use. First, I will view the CTC Panel 1 in editor mode. The panels are laid out with a 50 by 50 grid pattern. I have sized the grid on the panel so it fits an external monitor well. This video is showing you the views on my laptop screen so you cannot see the entire panel on the screen without me scrolling. This is panel one, which covers the main lines of the railroad. You can see switches, turnouts, some control buttons, and some signals. These were all placed on the panel using the track editor. Each grid square can have one piece of track, or a switch, or a control button, or text, or a signal, etc. This is done so the program can locate the grid address on the panel. The TCL programming language provides the code to make these items come to life. I have three panels so far. So here you can see the main yard. And here is the steam diesel facility. demonstrate how this editor process works, let's place a couple of signals on the main panel and program them to make them come alive. First, we open the track editor. Let's pick a vertical three light D signal and place two of them on the lower loop main line. Now, we open the TCL editor. This programming language uses a simple text editor to type in the code. Once the code is entered, we select Run, the screen icon, and the compiler runs to load the program. If there are any errors in the typing or syntax, the compiler issues an error message so you know what is wrong. If all goes OK, the program is up and running. At this point, we can interface mouse button clicks, left or right, with the CTC panel. And if we had hardware connected to the computer, the switches would actually throw and the signals would respond according to the switch direction. This hardware is available from CTI Electronics. If there are sensor inputs from the railroad layout, the panel could be programmed to change automatically, indicating layout operating status. Pretty cool, huh? So let's program these two new signals. To make life easier, I will just copy the code from above here and edit it for the new signals at the switch location. You will notice that the software makes the subject panel address easy by letting me just click on the location and it enters the address directly into the program code for me. We do the same for the signals and set the signal light values appropriately for diverging approach and for clear.
Now we can run the compiler and test the operation on the panel. Oops, we received an error. We can see that I made a typing error here in the code. Let's fix the error and rerun the compiler. Great! The program loaded and is currently running on the computer. You can see nothing is happening though. But if I click with the left mouse button on a switch on the panel, the switch is activated and the signals respond to the direction of the switch movement based on my program code. I can do this to every switch on the layout and the signals come to life. You notice that at the bottom of the panel, I place some control buttons and label them. I program these buttons to perform a combination of switch movements to form a path for my train. For example, this black button here isolates the west loop main line. If I had a train on this loop, I could left click the mouse on the button and all the switches line for the loop as shown here. You can imagine how powerful this could be to set up a train path through the entire layout. With the proper hardware connected to the computer, I could start a train moving and all of the switches would be thrown automatically and the signals would be set. And this was done without any physical switches or physical wiring on a physical control path. Just try doing this with any other control system out there in such an easy way. I hope this has demonstrated the power of using computer programming to activate switches and signals in a way you, you desire with just a click of the mouse. I can envision having the program on a wireless network and do this automatically from a handheld tablet as I walked around the layout. I believe the capabilities and options are endless using the CTI approach as the foundation of the operating system and have the TMCC or legacy and DCS capability as the controllers for my locomotives. But with CTI's smart cab electronic interface, I could also operate my locomotives directly through the computer. Since I'm still in the designing phase of my Thunder Basin Railroad project, I have a lot of thinking to do and programming to match my plans. And of course, I have the layout to build to match. I have a lot of work to do, so keep an eye out for my future updates. Again, thanks for watching.